Happy Juneteenth. I want to show you guys this because I always seem to forget to mention it in my videos. But this is my Pixie Grapevine. Um, I put the name of it on the screen. And the vine doesn't get very long. So if you like you don't have a lot of space and you want to grow some grapes and you don't have the space for a trellis or a large grapevine, you can definitely try to find one of these. They are hard to find, but you can try to get one of these. And look, well, there's a shadow. Let me see if I can show you the little teeny tiny grapes that I have on there. <clears throat> there we go. There's actually quite a few little clusters of little grapes on it. And the grapes aren't very big, but, um, you know, it, it makes for a good snack. So, yeah, find you one of these if you can. If I, I'm going to actually try to get some cuttings from this because I want to have a couple more plants. I did have two. I bought two of these a couple years ago, and I gave one away as a giveaway. And, um... So now I'm like, oh, I need more. So hopefully I can propagate it. Here's some corn tips for you if you are growing corn. Corn is a heavy feeder and it loves a lot of water. And if you have been experiencing this heat wave like I have, that means you need to be watering your corn a lot. But it's been so hot, no matter how much I've been watering my corn, this is what happened. When your corn tassels before it creates silks to make your corn cobs, um, that is due to heat and poor irrigation. So what I am doing is I'm making these cones around the tassels so that I can collect the pollen so that when the silks do emerge, I can hand pollinate instead of losing all of the pollen due to there not being any silks at this moment. So this is what you can do to save your corn pollen. Down here next to the corn, I have some of my African daisies. You can't really see because the corn is kind of casting a shadow. But um, I want to take some in the house for some cut flowers. So I'm going to cut some and show you what they look like since you can't really get a good view um, because of the shadow. So I will be right back. All right, so here they are, nice and purple and pretty. Purple is one of my favorite colors. So like I said, I just wanted to grab a couple flowers and bring them inside so I can have some nice cut flowers in the house. Also, I decided I'm just gonna grab some Cosmos to bring in the house as well. While I'm out here, I'm going to grab some of my Rubecchia and bring those in the house also because I, even though I already have some in the house, they are starting to die. So I'm just going to cut some more and bring them inside. So I'm noticing a lot of little bees out here. So I'm going to try to do my best not to disturb them. So let's see which ones I can get. Okay, so there's nothing here. So I'm going to cut that one and let's get this one too so we'll cut that one now that that bee is gone I'll grab this one and let's see let's do that one also I don't want to get too many all right so I got myself a cute little bouquet of flowers and I'm gonna bring them in the house, put them in a cute little jar, and show you what they look like. Okay, so here are my two cute little bouquets. I found some of my jars that I have laying around, and I put the Cosmos and the African Daisies in one, and the Rubecchia in another. And as you can see, there's a little spider crawl in there so I obviously didn't check them well enough but that's fine I'll probably just let him be he can stay in the house and eat the bugs in the house <laughs> but anyway that's it guys thanks for watching